Hey guys, I just picked up this Pit Boss 456D pellet smoker from Lowe's and I'm really excited about it. In this video, I'm gonna unbox it, show you the different components, and show you the instruction manual and the different features. So stay tuned, let's get to the video. Now I picked up this Pit Boss 456D because I got a screaming deal at Lowe's. I picked it up for about $380 Canadian. So Canadian dollars are worth probably around 70% of American dollars right now. So this is a really good deal. That's why I picked it up. And it comes with a bonus grill cover, which is really important to me because I'm cheap and I don't usually get the proper grill cover. So I cover it with a tarp and that doesn't really protect my grills sufficiently. So I'm happy that this comes with a, a grill cover included so I can take care of my pit boss. So this thing is a pellet smoker. It's got a smoker box. It's got 456 uh, square inches of cooking surface, I believe. And it is an eight in one. So I don't really know what that means. I guess it's a grill. It's a brazier, barbecue, bake, sear, roast, smoke, char grill. So I guess it can do eight different styles of cooking, which is cool. All I really want it for is low and slow barbecue and getting a pellet smoker so I can maintain my temperatures more efficiently, but still cook over a live fire with the wood pellets. So we're gonna start unboxing this now and we'll see what's inside. Okay, now we'll take this tape off. And this Pit Boss pellet smoker was actually a gift to me for my birthday. My wife got it for me, so thank you, honey, I love you. And this is awesome because I've wanted a pellet smoker for a really long time. I have a master build electric smoker. That's what I started smoking on. And then I upgraded to an Oklahoma Joe's stick burner. I used that stick burner to compete in a couple competitions, but in these barbecue competitions, nobody's using stick burners anymore. They're using a lot of these pellet smokers and charcoal smokers as well. But these pellet smokers are really popular because they can maintain temperature without you having to pay attention to them for a long time. It's like having an electric smoker, but it doesn't require an electrical heating element and you're cooking over live fire and you're getting all that smoky goodness and flavor. The other great thing about this compared to an electric smoker is that you can get a smoke ring with it. And with an electric smoker, it's usually very difficult to get a smoke ring because it doesn't reach the combustion temperatures to give you that chemical reaction that creates a, the pink smoke ring. So we'll open this up. And So we're opening it up. First thing we're seeing is some cardboard flaps here. It's got the instruction manual right on top, which is great. And it looks like it also has this tray that I think hooks up to the side of the smoker once you've assembled it. So we'll take this out, see what's in here. So this is kind of zap strapped together, but right here looks like we've got some sort of warranty information or product information sheet. I don't think I need that. We have a registration. So you can register your new grill and receive 25% off promo code to our online store. Okay, that's pretty cool because I might wanna buy some accessories for this thing. So that's neat. That's nice of Pit Boss to do that. So here is the wood pellet grill and smoker instruction manual for the 456D. So looks like we've got a bunch of great information there. It has the assembly instructions. So this is definitely what we'll want for the assembly portion, but I'm gonna do a separate video on the assembly. So this is just the unboxing and the initial impression of opening it up. Looks like typical instruction manual. It's got some great information. It's got some accessories sold separately. Maybe I'll use that discount coupon to buy some of these signature sauces or a barbecue format. I don't know, we'll see. All right, this is the grill cover, so that's awesome. It's one of the main reasons that I got this because a lot of grills don't come with a cover, they're sold separately. So this is a, this is a huge bonus that Pit Boss is, is doing with this grill. I, like, I really like it. And I think it's probably because this is a, an entry level pellet grill and they're trying to give people everything they need, all of the reasons to get into pellet grill smoking. And maybe one day, I'll buy a more expensive Pit Boss smoker if I really like this one. So we've got our cover, $49 value. So that's great. We'll uh, check that out 
Maybe we'll just uh, snip that open right now to check the quality of this thing. Toss that over there. Okay, so it looks like really sturdy nylon fabric. I think it's nylon, but it could be something else. Anyway, looks pretty water resistant. Looks pretty tear resistant. So not bad for free. So I'll put that to the side for now and I'll get all this stuff out of the way. So this looks like it's part of the rack that goes on the side of the smoker. Not entirely sure yet, so I'll put that to the side. Now the second layer is the legs, I believe, of the smoker. So we'll pull these out. They pull out really easily and they're all nice and wrapped in some plastic. Easy to get out, looks like they're powder coated, so that's good for me. That's important because I live in an area where we get a lot of snow and rain, so I want a nice protection on the outside, so this thing's gonna last a long time. So that looks pretty high quality. I'll open this. This is just the other leg. So great. Yeah, I, like, I really like that nice textured powder coating finish. Put that to the side. And now we have what looks like probably the heat shield, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is the shield that goes over the main cooking area. So we'll open this up. So we got a cardboard protecting layer here. This isn't too elegant how I'm opening this, but I'm really excited right now. So I want to open it as fast as I can. Okay. All right, now this appears to be coated in some sort of packing grease. I'll have to check later whether this is food safe. I'm sure it is, but I'll check the manual to see what that says. But it looks like there's some sort of protecting layer here that'll probably cake on when we do our first smoke and season a little bit. So we'll put that aside. Now we've got the main smoker unit here. So I'm gonna pull these off. Pull all that protection out, pull that out. All right, now this is pretty heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna collapse the box so that it sort of splays out and then I can start working on the box as a protective surface. All right, okay, well that's a lot easier. The box actually just comes right off the top of it, which is super handy. And then it's got just this little packing box below it. So we'll take the rest of this off. There we go. Okay, so underneath it, we have what looks to be the other set of legs. We've got another, what looks to be sort of like a heat protecting shield or something. So this is the flame broiler. So that looks like what you would use if you wanted to cook steaks up on this thing. I think this is one of the other selling features of the Pit Boss. It has a built-in flame broiler. If you want to use that as well, gives it a bit of versatility. And again, this is covered in some type of oil, assuming that it's food safe, but I'll need to check that out. And we'll just put that over there. And we'll take these legs out. These legs are very similar to the other legs we just looked at. It's like they have a nice sort of protective coating on them. And this one has a handy bottle opener on it for opening your beers and other beverages while you're barbecuing. So that's nice, that's a nice additional feature. And got another leg here. Now we've got a, another box here. I'm not sure what's in here. But we'll find out. I 
Ah, we got our grills. So we got our grill grates in here, which is nice. Looks like they have some kind of uh, ceramic coating over the metal, which is awesome. It's really nice. You can see the gloss on it. That's gonna protect these grates and it's going to extend their life, which is nice. So I'm really impressed by the quality of what I'm seeing so far at such a low price point. And now we've got what looks to be the pan or tray that goes underneath the grill. So we'll open that as well. Yeah, and again, it's got a nice, looks to be quality sort of powder coating or nice finish uh, that's going to resist the weather and corrosion. So that's great. So now we'll take a look at the main cooking chamber. There's nothing left there. So I'm gonna put this thing back onto the cardboard just to protect it a little. We'll open that up. Okay, and it's full of other stuff. So the first thing I'm seeing is there's some kind of key or like cell sheet in here. So it basically has the same information as on the outside, but it has a little bit more information. So it has a steel handle, steel feed system for the auger, auger motor, pellet holding box, wood pellet hopper, combustion fan, standard flame broiler right there. It's got a bottle opener, which is cool. Heavy duty wheels. That's a great feature because, you know, if you have a deck with uh, any amount of gap in between the wood boards or the vinyl boards, then it can get difficult for those little wheels to get over those. So that's nice for dragging this around. Solid bottom, heavy duty construction. It is pretty heavy duty. It's pretty thick metal for uh, such an entry level smoker. So. We'll see how it holds up when we do our first uh, cook, but looks pretty good so far. Removable stainless steel side shelf, which we looked at before, and three cooking utensil hooks. That's actually really nice. I appreciate how they put those hooks in because I always am looking for spots to store my, uh, my tongs and my uh, different barbecue utensils, so that's nice. We'll take this off. Looks like it's on with some sort of, I don't know, sticky substance. It didn't leave any residue though, so that's good. I don't have to worry about that. Take this packing foam out. And there's something else here. I don't really know what this is. Ah, okay, so this is a, a little tiny grate. So again, this looks like it's a ceramic coated steel or other metal, and it's got a nice protective finish on it. So this looks like it has some hooks here. So it might be like an upper rack that goes at the back of it. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to find that out later. So then we have some more packing foam in here. Feels like there's something else inside. All right, we've got this. We've got a grease bucket, which is cool that it comes with it. Throw that away. And we've got all of our, I'm assuming these are accessories, hardware. So this is the handle. This is the temperature thermometer. And if we reach in here, we've got all of our hardware for putting everything together. So it comes with all the screws and nuts and bolts that you need. And this is probably the auger system for the pellets. Looks like it's in there pretty good, but there's enough clearance that it easily comes out, which is nice. We can just easily take that out. And it's got the whole auger system in it. I'll put that to the side and close this up and I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second. But there's some more packing foam. And there's another box. Not sure what's in here. We'll take a look. Okay, so these are the wheels. Nice, pretty big caster wheels. Uh, they've got like a clear sort of plastic or acrylic rubberized 
uh, finish to the outside, so that's pretty neat. And here's the second one. Take that out of the package. Whoops. Okay, so that held up pretty good. This is pretty hefty too. It's a pretty hefty wheel. It's not like cheap or anything. It's got a lot of weight to it, so yeah, this is nice. I'm really impressed by the quality so far. So now we'll take the rest of this out. And it's important after you unpack this to go in and clean up all of these little styrofoam little bits here because you don't want those in your food or getting baked onto the side when you do your first cook. So I'll clean that out before I actually season this thing and start with my first cook. All right, the last thing here is these little stickers. So let's see how easily these come off. Pretty easily, going pretty slow here. Yeah, they're not leaving any residue. So that's another nice feature is that, you know, you're not stuck with some uh, tape residue on the top of your smoker when it's supposed to look all nice and, and new when you bring it out the first time. So that comes off nice and easily. And we'll just put that to the side. And now we'll take a look at all of the other bags we got. So this one, it looks like we've got a bunch more hardware here. So this thing, not sure what that does. Put that in the hardware pile. Another locking nut mechanism. Something else. Oh, we've got our Allen keys. Oh, I thought they were Allen keys, but actually they look like little handles. So I'm not sure what those are. I'll have to read the instruction manual. This is a little temperature probe here that will go on the top of the grill. I usually don't rely on these too much because they take the temperature at the very top of the smoker. And what you're really concerned with is the grill level. But this one is 100 degrees to 750 degrees Fahrenheit, basic thermometer. So yeah, that's nice that it comes with that. We've got our grill, main grill cover handle here, which looks uh, pretty nice. I'm not sure what it's made out of, either aluminum or stainless steel, but Again, like it's, it looks like it's pretty quality. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap. And uh, I'm really excited about this. Okay, what do we have here? We've got some other piece of metal. This looks like a baffle plate. Probably a plate that goes over top of the flame so that it evenly distributes the smoke and maybe shields the flame from grease that's dripping down. This is pretty nice quality. Looks like stainless steel and uh, it's pretty hefty, pretty thick. Yeah, this is nice. It's great quality. It's well machined. It's awesome. So now let's look at the electric components. So this is the auger box for the pellets. This is where the pellets go in. This looks to be Based on my knowledge, my limited knowledge of pellet smokers, which will be expanding indefinitely after I start using this, but this looks to be the main burner of the pellet smoker. So the auger, it uh, pushes the pellets out there and then the flame gets started with that little tube right there. Uh, so this is cool. Again, there's some oil in here for protecting the surface. Um, I'm not sure if that's food safe. I'm assuming it is. So now we'll just open this up a bit more. All right. So we've got the whole pellet box there. And again, it has like what looks to be a little cell sheet here or an instruction sheet. It's got one, fill the hopper. Two, plug in your grill. Okay. Three, power on and set to smoke. Great. And four is set the temperature and start grilling. So yeah, pretty simple self-explanatory instructions, but it's nice that Pit Boss is sort of putting these instructions, you know, on different areas of the smoker so that you know what to do. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be like part of the smoker and you're supposed to leave it on or if you're supposed to take it off, but I don't want that thing on my smoker. So I'm gonna take it off and 
Again, looks like it doesn't leave any residue, so that's great. You could leave it on if you want, but I think it looks kind of silly to leave the instructions on the actual smoker. You should just read the instruction manual and know how to use it. So now we'll open this up. Okay, now we've got some labels in here. So the wiring diagram, this is important information that we're gonna leave on here. Uh, we've got our hopper box. So the auger's in there. Looks like a nice sloped surface into the auger. So that is great. And then we've got our cord on the side here. Looks like it's just zap strapped on. So we'll open that up and take the protective cord off or the protective coating. So there, there it is. The only other thing is this little bucket here. This is for catching the drippings. On a lot of smokers that I've bought in the past, they don't come with this amount of extra features, features that you need, accessories that you need, but, uh, but they don't come with. So I'm really impressed by how Pit Boss is including all of the little things that you need to make the smoking experience much more easy. So it's got this nice little bucket and it's got an insert in it so that once it gets dirty and nasty, you can just replace it. So this is just galvanized metal. Uh, it's got a nice Pit Boss embossed logo here. So this is cool, I like this. And I like how um, it's commonly branded throughout. It's got a nice finish and it just feels like a really complete product. So that's it guys, that's the unboxing of the Pit Boss 456D. Overall, really good experience opening it. It was a lot of fun. I felt like the materials at first glance are very high quality. We've got some stainless steel here. We've got some powder coated protected material on the legs and on the tray. We've got ceramic coated grates and it comes with a whole bunch of other things like really hefty caster wheels that are nice and big. It comes with a, a drip bucket. It comes with obviously the auger and it comes with a cover. It comes with a cover and a bunch of other accessories like a bottle opener, things that aren't really normally included on, a, on your regular run of the mill smoker. But even at this low price point for Pit Boss, they've included a lot of extra value and I really appreciate that. So personally for around $380, which I paid and that's Canadian dollars. So something like just over maybe $300 US equivalent or just under $300 US equivalent. They provided me with a lot of value here and I'm really excited to start digging into this, assembling it and then doing my first smoke on it. So thanks for watching the video guys and be sure to check out the assembly video for this smoker. Thanks a lot, happy smoking.